of this commission is that each elected official brings to the table special skills, experiences, and perspectives. In addition to your service to the community as a whole, you have each shared your skills in ways that help me grow as a person and as an elected leader. For that and for your service, I am so grateful. For now, take time off, rest, Enjoy more moments of freedom, but I look forward to hearing your voices from the other side. Good afternoon, Mayor and Commissioners. I want to take this opportunity and say it's been a pleasure to work with all three of you. More importantly to me, it was, it was nice to get to know you over these years and develop a personal relationship with you. I want you to know I enjoyed working with all three of you immensely, and I know you'll be very successful in your future endeavors. Happy holidays. Thank you. I just want to have a moment to say thank you to Mayor Alby and Commissioner Walters and Commissioner Philbrook for your many years of service to the community, to the unified government. You will be missed. I personally value everything you brought forward during your time of service here. And I also want to say to you all, my very best wishes to you on whatever the next steps come for you in your future. Thank you so much. Hi, Mary Commissioners. Just wishing you all the best. Had a really enjoyable opportunity to spend with each one of you. Most memorable time with the mayor is coming to my office grabbing a bag of corn nuts. Most memorable uh, moment with Commissioner Philbrook is just having those conversations, just shooting the breeze about life. And my most memorable conversation I had is with Commissioner Walters and his wife when we were at KAC out for dinner. I really enjoyed all of our relationships and wishing you all the best. Hope you have a happy holidays. Bye. When our community is looking for someone to step up and show leadership, and what true public servants are. Becoming a member of the county commission really is one of the best ways anybody can do that. And the three of you, Mayor Alvey, Commissioner Philbrook, Commissioner Walters, have really demonstrated that in your years of service working for the unified government. And as county administrator for the unified government, I really appreciate all the countless hours you have put in uh, through the dedicated meetings, going to community events every day, weekend. You know, a lot of people don't realize just how many hours the mayor and the commissioners put into this community. And mayor, you were here for the last four years. I really enjoyed working with you on a daily basis. It's meant a lot to me and the staff. Uh, you've shown a lot of great leadership to us throughout this period. And there's a lot of great things moving forward from your administration. And for the two commissioners that have been here both for your eight years, um, well, you've, you've done a lot of great projects, put a lot of things on track for us to make a big difference in our community. And I really thank all of you for all your tireless efforts and the great working relationship we've had. Thank you and see you in the future. Well, I just am so excited to be able to be here today and thank all three of you for your dedicated service to the unified government, the governing body itself, and um, to our residents and businesses. You guys have really set us up for the future in a way that you probably don't understand today, but we're excited to keep your good work going. welcome you to the Rock Island Bridge. This is a bridge from our past, but it's a bridge to the future. This is an example of how Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte County, take what is given to us and we transform it and make it into something special. That's the story of Wyandotte County. That's the story of Kansas City, Kansas. I want to thank the mayor for creating 
these committees. So, and our administrator for working with us um, through Public Works with Jeff Fisher and his team, because this is the first time that I've known of that administration and commission and mayor have worked together openly on some of our issues that we have in the community. And so with when with our conversations being so, you know, with a lot of energy and a lot of differing opinions and a lot of information to us because we have been able to work together. And I think that is a great step forward and I hope that that continues. So I really think that the work of the commissioners at these committee meetings is uh, as important or maybe more important than our work as at, at the commission meetings themselves. I also want to appreciate my fellow commissioners. I uh, appreciate getting to know you and uh, working with you on this committee. I really do think the next few years in Wyandotte County are going to be very good and uh, a lot of opportunities are going to be there and I just wish everybody the best of luck. So thank you. Commissioner Walters beat me to the punch. So class act that he is, I wanted to make sure that um, I, I said my thank yous, the opportunity to work with him over these last eight years uh, on these two committees and, and the logic with which he has approached, um, I don't know how many issues over eight years we've all looked at. But it has indeed been a pleasure uh, to work with him and uh, I wish him and his family all of the best. It's been a pleasure. Commissioner Walters, Jim, thank you for the time you've given me when uh, I've made those calls to you and your counsel and your guidance and your input into the policies that face us on the Economic Development Committee. Um, you are thoughtful and thorough in what you do. and. I sincerely appreciate the time and commitment you've given not only to the committee, your fellow commissioners, but the community. Uh, it's been my pleasure to get to know you, my friend, and and on your next chapter, I wish you nothing but great success and happiness and a little bit of leisure. So uh, my best to you, my friend. Quite frankly, um, your thoughtfulness, uh, I have depended upon uh, during our meetings. Uh, the old expression, speak softly and carry a big stick uh, when Jim Walters speaks, everybody listens. And the reason why we listen is because you always have something very thoughtful, very uh, meaningful and very relevant uh, to add to our conversations. And so uh, I am going to greatly miss you. Uh, uh, I, I, I enjoy <laughs> your quiet sense of humor and uh, just wishing you all the best uh, in the future. Commissioner Walters, we are in your debt. We appreciate all that you have given to us. And we look forward to still being a partner with you in watching and helping this community grow. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody. It is also our final meeting with Commissioner Jane Philbrook. I wanna thank her for her uh, years of service on this committee, always as tonight, uh, always good questions and comments from Commissioner Philbrook on the items before us. We appreciate her service on this committee and the many items that she's been involved in intimately as commissioner, um, especially uh, workforce development has been a special passion of hers, as well as animal services, but she has always been willing to listen and take on challenges that were not uh, her own priorities, and we appreciate that as well. I want to express appreciation for the additional years of service on the Public Works and Safety Committee, and, and we've been a great team, and Commissioner Philbrook's been really critical to that. I can only hope that your constituents know how deeply you have cared for the unified government and the community and how hard you've worked for everyone. So Jane, thank you so much for everything. Commissioner Kane. Well, I'd say everything they said and then some. <clears throat> we appreciate your work, your work ethic on top of that. And uh, you won't be missed because we'll see you, we'll still see you around town. You were one of the first, you were the first ones that, that, that reached out to me as a commissioner. So. Uh, sitting next to you on the dais has been uh, just great. I, I, one of the things that I remembered, I had no idea that we voted on the number of uh, 
uh, animals that were allowed in 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 um, our yards. And uh, I think one night we were talking about chickens, and <laughs> I says. I says I leaned over to Jane and I said, "So we have to legislate on 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 animals," and she said, "Oh yeah." She says, uh, "Next month we're gonna be talking about goats." <laughs> I just I'm laughing. Uh, that was one of the most one of the more memorable moments. Uh, just just and you said it with no smile, so I knew you were serious. So, uh, but I, I thank you for your service. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, and uh, we'll look forward to continuing to see you in the future wish you all the best well thank you commissioner johnson and so you're right guys i'm not going away and so my new mantra is not commissioner but citizen jane from here on <laughs> so yes i will be around so god bless everybody and thanks for all your hard work